Jada Pickett Smith was seen leaving iHeartRadio Studios Wednesday morning in New York City, and she was asked about her thoughts surrounding the, the allegation by a former employee that her husband, Will Smith, was caught having sex with actor Dwayne Martin. Her response, we suing! Obviously setting up a potential legal battle, according to TMZ. Of course, it's hard to tell if Jada's making a joke or if her family's really considering legal action here. But a source close to the situation told us Will is actually weighing his legal options. So there could be some truth to Jada's response. To be complete and fair, rep for Will told TMZ the whole thing was BS, saying this story is completely fabricated and the claim is unequivocally false. According to TMZ, Dwayne Martin's going to let Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith deny the allegation he had sex with Will, but Dwayne's not jumping into the fray himself. Sources familiar with the situation tell TMZ Dwayne has no plans to publicly respond to the claim because the allegations are so ridiculous. Fine. You know, I brought this subject up because there's a couple of things that really, really bother me here. So a former employee, without question disgruntled, because why would you do something like that? Even if it was true, which by the way, I personally don't believe, but I don't care either. Whether it's true or not true is none of our business. But a former employee saying something like that, so that's the world we're living in now where somebody could say something like that, it trends nationwide, if not worldwide, we're all talking about it, and your name is raked through the coals if you're a superstar like Will Smith. So that's the first thought that comes to my mind. The second thought that comes to my mind is why are people acting like even if it was true is such a big deal? I thought we evolved as a society. We're talking about folks who are transgender. We're talking about folks who are born a girl or, and decide that they're a boy or vice versa. Women who say they're men and men who say they're women. We just discussed yesterday how Marlon Wayans' daughter transitioned to a son. I don't even remember if it was the other way around. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. I thought we advanced as a society. So if we really have advanced and it's really not a big deal, why is this being made to be such a big deal? That's point number two. Point number three is the biggest point that I want to make above all else. And I'm standing up here because I'm trying to compose myself. Because I got something that I want to say, but I want to be fair minded in saying what I'm about to say. So I'm just going to say it. It's all your fault, Jada. You see what happens when you tell people business? Because you see what happens is, is that even me and everybody else in between could go out there and we could talk about a whole bunch of things. Why? Because you invited us to talk about it. Whether it's leaking out information about your sex life with your husband, whether it's selling a book and telling the world that y'all been separated for seven years. And by the way, a year after your husband slapped the living shit out of a guy by the name of Chris Rock who was a noted, famous comedian, about 60 pounds lighter because he insulted you in Will Smith's eyes. By the way, Will Smith was laughing initially to that until he saw your reaction. This is at the Academy Awards, which everybody knows from a couple of years ago. This is what the hell happened. Along the way, Red Table Talk. Along the way, Will and I ain't the same anymore. Along the way, ain't that interested in making love anymore. Along the way, your own children were clamoring for Tupac who died over 25 years ago. Clamoring for a dude, God rest his soul, that they either weren't born or they were toddlers at the time of his passing. Where they get that from, Jada? Because if we can believe that pillow talk takes place between a woman and her man, we can certainly believe that talk takes place between a mother and her child, especially about the other parent. All of this stuff that Will is being subjected to, ladies and gentlemen, let's be clear, as much as we lament and abhor what he did to Chris Rock. Up until that point, 
Did it get any cleaner than Will Smith? What did he do wrong? He always wanted to do the right things. He was always about doing the right things. Didn't you love the movie Hitch? Didn't you love iRobot? Don't get me started with Independence Day with him and Vivica Fox. The, the movie Focus with Margot Robbie. I love that movie. The list goes, the bad boys don't get me started with him and Martin Lawrence. One, two, and three. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? I loved it. Will Smith is a think movie star, class personified. Didn't do anything to impugn his reputation at all. I interviewed him when he was doing concussions or the movie Concussion. The dude is outstanding, he's conscientious, heart's in the right place, but we got to talk about subjects like this because it's trending all over the place. Why? Because people have the license to talk about him, that's why. It ain't just conjecture and speculation where it's his name and so you just talk about it now. Oh no, now there's a level of validity in people's mind that gets attached to anything that involves him because his wife gave the opening. Which gets us to a different subject. You see, it's uncomfortable for a lot of men to go that route. But it ain't uncomfortable for me. Oh, no, 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 no. I religiously tell people, mind your damn business. Religiously. I tell the men out there, and I'll tell you women out there, you got somebody in your life, in your personal life, the second they whisper your business, get their ass up out of there. Get rid of them. Get rid of them before they even can say their own last name, let alone yours. I got my little nephew in the house. Come here, boy. Come here, man. Hurry up. This is my nephew, Josh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Josh, hmm? what did grandma, my mother, your grandmother, tell us about talking about our business? To not do it. What did she tell us to do when you had people in our life who did tell our business? Get rid of them. How soon? Yesterday. Good job. Get the hell out of here. That's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very simple. When you have people in your life who will spread your business, who will violate the sanctity of your trust and your private space, they only get one shot. If Will Smith made any mistakes, ain't about him and Dwayne Martin, ain't about him or anything else. Yes, Chris Rock was definitely an egregious mistake. No doubt about that. But everything emanates from him with Jada. Remember when he was in his house and she was filming him? And he was like, that's not fair. I got my own fan base and I don't feel like being bothered and it's not right to be putting me out there like that. Respect my privacy. She said, there he goes, y'all. There he goes, y'all. Remember when we heard about them going to therapy? How did we hear about it? Because she told us. And there's a whole bunch of women out there following her. Did y'all see me do a segment just a few weeks ago on the wife of former pro basketball player Joe Smith and how she was on only had an OnlyFans account and stuff like that behind his back and he was going off about it? How do we know he was going off about it? Because she filmed him while he was talking. And then had the audacity when he left the house to go on TMZ and act like she was crying about it. Like she's so hurt that he left. But in the same breath, she was like, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, we got bills to pay. Then everybody knows he's been struggling financially. Well, how the hell we know that? Because you told us. It may not be the only way we found out because there was an article written years ago, but ultimately you remind anybody, I can assure you as a person who covers the sport of professional basketball as a career, Nobody's thinking about Joe Smith until you brought him up a couple weeks ago. And then what did she do? She utilized it to go on TMZ and talk more about it. And then after that, she went on a podcast, It Is What It Is, with my man Mace and Cameron, and actually gave Cameron a massage. If you don't believe me, I'll get him on the show and ask him about it. 
This is the shit that's going on. This is the nonsense. And it's got to stop. So Will Smith, Dwayne Martin, Jada Pinkett Smith, the only reason I even broached the subject, because I want it to be a lesson to the public out there. Be quiet. Follow Dwayne Martin's lead. Shut up. Don't dignify the word of response. Will Smith, you want to go sue, go sue. But you know what you need to do? You need to find a way to make sure your wife ain't talking about your private business. Because if she learns to keep quiet about y'all, chances are the public will follow. And they won't be talking about y'all either. Just a thought. I think I know what I'm talking about.